Alien Way, I've done it again. Another massive monitor that looks awesome. Uh, this is the 38 inch curved gamer monitor. Released, I believe in December. Uh, we only just got hold of it though. I'm looking forward to taking this out of the box. I'm getting straight into it. They seem to be pretty easy to get out, to be honest. There's these like little plastic things, you just pull them. There you go. Whoa, that's a big box. That is a big box for a big monitor. Right, let's have a look. What does this come with? We've got cable, this UK, but when you get it, it'll be whatever region that you're in. We have another box. So we've seen with the other ones that we've opened that the different sizes of this, you get like a, I want to call it a wing. It's not a wing. And that is actually a little bit smaller than the ones that we've seen on the other monitors. Got some warranty information little Alienware card, and it comes with a HDMI. This is a USB. We have a display port to mini display port, I think that is. And then just a normal display port to display port. Always packaged really, really well. They know that you spend a lot of money, so they want to package this thing up well for you. Here's your instructions of how to take it out the box. Recently heard a story about someone who um, took the stand out, made the stand up, took the monitor section out, tried to fit it to the stand, dropped it, smashed the screen. Don't do that, leave the screen inside, attach the stand, then lift it out. That's nice. I think that the, um, the color's ever so slightly different. It's slightly darker gray from the uh, 34 inch that we just did recently, I think. I mean, to my eye, it looks ever so slightly different anyway. This is a beast, this is heavy. All right, so what you wanna do is that just slots on there like that, but then underneath, you can just screw by hand. There's a little um, toggle on the screw. Just make sure you get that nice and tight so that your monitor does not fall off. As we've seen with the other monitors, it's got this, uh, little ring of RGB here, so that'll light up dead nicely. Right, oh, there's a little bit of uh, uh, instruction there on how to fit this properly. Stand goes in, and then just clips down. And that's nice and secure now, and if you wanna take it off, push that button there, and then that releases the hooks. But yeah, just wanna make sure that is nice and secure when it clips down. Lift it out. So this has a 2300R curvature. And you can see straight away. Oh, look, bubble wrap. Um, yeah, you can see straight away that that 2300R curvature is just a really nice curve. Uh, I do like the curve screams for gaming. I feel like they, do, they are very immersive. You know, it's very, very similar in the way it looks to the 34 inch that we had a couple of weeks ago. Um, let's check the functionality of the stand. It goes down very, very far, to be honest. And up, obviously the tilt on it is pretty good too. Well, the tilt up, the tilt down, that's as far down as it goes. Left to right, does it spin? Oh, a tiny, tiny, like, what, five or 10 degrees? It does feel very solid though. But yeah, so it's got 2300R curvature. Um, it says on the box that it's got 1ms, a true 1ms response time. Um, very, very impressive. So the screen is WQHD+, which they're saying is has 24% more pixels than normal WQHD. It's 3840 by 1600, which makes it slightly bigger uh, than 2K, but not quite 4K. 144 refresh rate, you know what? It's a bit of a beast, to be honest. Um, I think we should turn it on and have a look. So we've just noticed that when you plug it in, it's got an Alienware loading screen, like it. I do love the Alienware logo. I mean, it's expensive, but um, it is a cool logo. So yeah, it's got, um, if you have a look at the back, just flip this round carefully. You can see, as we've seen with the other ones, uh, it has this RGB strip, little RGB alien head over there. It's got the 38 there, which is obviously it's a 38 inch screen. And the thing that I absolutely love about these monitors is this little joystick. It's so good. Um, 
so easy to navigate your uh, OSD uh, with just that joystick and a couple of buttons. Uh, I think that one thing that a lot of us hate in the, the uh, in the office is when you have lots and lots of buttons. Uh, it's just much easier to navigate with a joystick. So it's, a, it's an IPS panel with nano colour, which they're saying is as good as cinema quality, um, and it's better than sRGB. Um, so that that's it. Truly is impressive, and with it being IPS as well, and one MS response time. That, that's fantastic because you know generally the response time was used to be better on a TN panel, colours better on an IPS panel. You didn't generally get those response times on IPS panels, but the technology has taken a leap forwards, and now you're getting one MS response times on an IPS panel. It is you know it is pricey like all Alienware uh, products are, but it's a solid product. It's got some fantastic technology in it. Um, I'm impressed. I, I quite like it. I do like the Alienware stuff. I, I, I wouldn't call myself an Alienware fanboy, although I do love their stuff, so maybe I am. So it's got NVIDIA G-Sync, but it's NVIDIA G-Sync Ultimate, which uh, I believe is something to do with HDR. Um, so you can have uh, the G-Sync uh, sort of non-screen tear in, in, in full HDR as well, which is fantastic. And with the 144 Hertz, plus one MS response time, you're gonna have a really, really smooth gaming experience. I'm really excited by this. Uh, I can't wait to see what it looks like uh, when we do the full review of it. This isn't the first Alienware monitor that we've had recently. Um, we, we've bought in a couple of others as well. We've had the 34 inch, the 27 inch. Uh, I believe we're getting another one as well that we've just purchased recently. Um, but yeah, we're, we're gonna go test this now, test the colors. Uh, test the panel, make sure that it's quite uniform. We could test it in some games as well and see what the gameplay experience is like. I'm really excited to see what it feels like with the 2300 R curvature in gameplay. Um, yeah, I, th I think it's going to be really good. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Subscribing really helps us. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. And get in the comments, let us know what you think of Alienware. If you're a fan of Alienware, let us know. If you think Alienware is just overpriced rubbish, let us know as well. Um, and if you look over here, there should be another video that we think you'll like watching as well. So yeah, thanks for joining us and we'll see you for the full review of this monitor.